Okay, so we've had a lot of good reaction to the whiteboard session we yeah. did on storytelling, yeah. and people want more. <laughs> uh, <laughs> have you got any good. more tips about storytelling? And it's interesting because I think s the very name storytelling can sound so arty, farty for business audiences. Yeah. Well, look, it's, it's interesting because I've recently uh, had to really address this in a very businessy type forum. Um, I was contacted by a woman named Ludwina Dodovic, who is a marketing engagement expert. She does a lot of podcasting and um, publishing and contributes to all kinds of stuff. I mean, she's quite well known. Um, she's, she's Australian, but is quite no well known throughout the world. And she is the publisher of a new book, and it's called It's That Easy Online Marketing 3.0. All right. So I was contacted as one of a number of people from Australia, the US, and the UK as kind of an expert or an engager to contribute to the book. And it's all about online marketing, et cetera, et cetera. And she wanted me to write the kind of the social media chapter, which Although I can, um, it, it was funny because it didn't really excite me, and more importantly, it didn't really excite her. So I got this call out of the blue from her um, a few weeks back saying, this isn't right, all right? There's got to be something else. What do you really want to talk about? You've been in film and social media and advertising and marketing and digital and all this stuff. And I said, look, it all comes down to the story, okay? Brands need to tell stories, all right? And she went, oh, that's it. And so I ended up writing the chapter. Okay, and it was all about storytelling um, for brands as it, was, as it pertains to marketing. So I really had to force myself to take that whiteboard video and go very deep and very functional in a trade publication. Well, it's a, you know, it's a book for the industry, okay, and it, mine's the first chapter. Because at the end of the day, what I realized is that any tip, tactic, tool, strategy, campaign practice that you have around marketing or advertising or social media means nothing unless you're telling a story. Okay? So one of the examples that I used was, in my view, the greatest story in marketing is just do it. Okay? Period. The end. Right? And if you've noticed, this has been around for almost 20 years. But just do it is a story. It's the story of you. It's the story of transformation. Okay. And it used to be that Nike would do these big commercials and have all these you know, people, these robust people, and they were inciting and incentivizing you. Just Do It Now lives on its own with a swoosh. <laughs> okay. And one of the things that I really realized is that the reason I'm a Nike fan and user and buyer is that when I put on a pair of Nikes, I just feel faster. I don't know what it is. But that's how important the story is because I've become the hero. Mm. Right? It's the hero's journey. Every story is the hero's journey. Right? It's the aspirant who has to figure out who he is, personal, professional, private life scene, all that stuff I did in the Aristotelian arc. A brand has to do that as well. All right? They have to have their product, service, or good as the hero. Do you call it storytelling, though? I know sure. the artistic Absolutely. community gets that. No, I, I, look, if if it's one of my missions in life to make that word okay in business, <laughs> then I'm going to beat the drum. Because it is storytelling. It may be kind of artsy-fartsy in business, but it's not more artsy-fartsy than engagement and awareness, which I think have been completely bastardized. I mean, those words, the power of those words, has become bastardized by marketers. So, but everybody understands storytelling, right? Tell the story of your brand, not well, Nike was built by you know, a track coach at the University of Oregon. Not that story. What is your product? How is your product the hero? How is your brand the hero of an epic journey which takes on obstacles that are societal, that are against other men and women and you know, government and blah, 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 blah. Building a brand is an epic. It's Homer. It's the Iliad. It's the Odyssey. You know, It's King Arthur. To build a successful brand is like Star Wars. Okay. Now you're talking. Yes. <laughs> Star Wars. <laughs> well, in fact, one of the things, and, and um, Ludwina was very insistent that each author at the end of their chapter had a kind of a, a takeaway or a giveaway. All right? And I couldn't figure out for the life of me what to do. And she finally just said, look, give me 10 bullet points on how storytelling is important for brands. And I just started writing Star Wars. And I said, okay, your brand needs to be a hero, like Luke Skywalker, blah, 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 right? And kept going on from there. And it ended up being perfect because Star Wars is King Arthur. It is the hero's journey. It's universal, okay? So how do you get this artsy-fartsy storytelling vibe into your brand? Watch Star Wars, 
right? You'll understand it.